Hey, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, King K. So if you're someone like me, you will have most likely read through or watched a bunch of different OBS guides in the pursuit of perfecting your visual and audio quality. And more often than not, within these guides and tutorials, people usually tend to skim over a bunch of different settings and options without going into too much detail about them. One of these options being audio tracks. But what if I told you that audio tracks are actually really cool and if you implement them correctly, you could definitely up your audio quality. And that's exactly what I'm here to show you guys today. How audio tracks work and how to effectively implement them. Just before we get into the video though, if you guys are new to the channel and want to see more content like this, be sure to head down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you guys enjoyed today's video or find it to be useful, be sure to smash that like button as well as it always helps on my content. But without further ado, let's get into the action. All right, so first things first, let's go over how audio tracks actually work. Simply put, audio tracks allow you to separate the audio from different audio sources whilst remaining on one video file. Now, this may be a little complicated for me to actually put into words. After all, I am kind of a little bit stupid. So the best way for me to actually show you how audio tracks works is to just put them into use. Okay, so for in order for me to give you guys a clear cut example of what I'm talking about right now, I'm going to be making a recording of myself watching a recording of myself in VLC. Big brain, I know. So right now you guys will be able to hear the music from Genshin Impact playing as well as my voice coming through. But let's say at any point I want to zone out my voice specifically and just to make it louder or softer within editing software or just because I want myself to come through more clearly. Well, I could do that by simply changing the audio track to one that only has my microphone volume being recorded and now you guys will not be able to hear anything from Genshin Impact. This is not some type of after effect editing magic that I'm currently applying to the video. This is literally just me making full use of the audio track. Now naturally I can also do this in reverse if I don't want my voice coming through and I want a different audio source to be more clear whether it's the game audio like right now or whether it's a discord audio if i have them selected and recording on a different audio track i can switch over to that one Oh my word, phew, I thought I was going to get stuck in the abyss for a second there. Now I can also take this one step further through my editing software. Now I'm currently using Fomora 12. Your editing software may be a little bit different, but let me show you how it works. Using the same clip that I had earlier, all right, that's showcasing the differences between the different audio tracks, when I had my voice enabled, when I didn't have my voice enabled, etc. I could just simply go in here, select which audio track I want to use, and then apply it into the actual editing software so right here audio track one includes both my voice as well as the game's audio audio track number two will only have my voice audio and audio track number three will only have the genshin's music audio so let me go ahead choose audio track one click on it to start playing my and voice specifically and just to make it louder or softer if okay so that includes my voice and the game's audio now if i go here and choose audio track number two and play from pretty just much the same point or softer within editing software or just because i want myself to come okay there's no more game audio in the background even though when i showcased this exact same clip earlier on in this video the game audio was there now if i go ahead and choose audio track number three within my editing software even though i may be talking and going crazy up here in the top right you'll hear nothing but the game audio all right, so now that I've shown you how audio tracks actually work within OBS, I'm going to be going ahead and showing you how to set them up correctly. First things first, you want to go ahead and open up your OBS settings. You can do so by, if I move it over, hello, a bunch of duplicates. In the bottom right, you'll find the settings tab right there. But if you don't have the controls panel, you can find it in the top left under files and then go into settings. Once we've opened the settings, we want to go straight to the output tab. Now you guys should likely have your output mode as advanced at this point because well, these are advanced settings. Now I cannot physically change any of my settings right now within OBS because I am currently recording. So it impedes me from actually doing so. But first things first, your stream settings, if you are a streamer, you want to set that 
to audio track one now for streaming specifically audio tracks is not really that useful matter of fact it's not even usable but if you do stream then you want to have your audio track selected as audio track one under streaming if not then completely ignore that because it won't really make a difference next up we want to go to the recording tab under output and if you look a little bit further down you'll find audio track and this is where you can select up to six different audio tracks now i currently use audio track two three and four for my recordings but yours may be a little bit different depending on what you do for instance if you are not a streamer and you do not stream whatsoever you can possibly be selecting one two and three instead the amount of audio tracks that you select is purely up to you and what you're going to use them for for example my audio track on audio track 2 like i indicated has both my microphone and all the other sounds combined whilst on audio track 2 i only record my microphone volume and audio track 3 only contains the background sounds and game volume once you've selected which audio tracks you want to use during recording head over to the audio tab and i'm saying the audio tab under output and not the main audio tab now this is where you're going to select the audio's output bitrate of course you want to have the highest bitrate and the highest quality possible so for all the tracks including my streaming track all the way up to track number four which i still use for recording I have them all set to the highest bitrate which is 320 whilst if i scroll down which i'm currently not able to do for some reason audio track 5 and 6 which i do not use is set to the lowest bitrate these options right here directly affect your audio quality so you want them to be as high as possible and whilst i'm on the topic of quality i just want you guys to remember that by choosing these at the highest quality your recordings will also have an increased bitrate on them. For example, if I was only using one audio track and recording at 10,000 bitrate, it's going to come out at 10,320 bitrate. That is because the audio bitrate is layered on top of your overall video recording bitrate. Now for me, if I'm recording at 320 bitrate on audio track 2, 3 and 4 at the exact same time, it's going to add a total of 960 bitrate on top of that 10,000 recording bitrate. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now that we've chosen the audio bitrate as well as the audio tracks that are going to be used during recording and streaming, Let's go and actually set them up. Simply click apply and then of course OK to close the settings and save them. Now you want to go ahead and bring up your OBS studio once again and go over to any of the audio bars that you have wherever your audio mixer is. Go ahead and click on the three dots for the options and scroll down to advanced audio properties and open that up. Now here within advanced audio properties, we are going to select which audio sources record on which audio tracks. As you can see here on the left, I have a list of all of my different audio sources. And all the way on the far right, I have a list of all of the audio tracks. Again, this goes from one to six because OBS can record up to six different audio tracks. Now under audio tracks number one, I have pretty much everything selected besides some that I don't actually use for audio, but I can't really hide. And this is what I'm going to be using for my streaming because my microphone volume is always combined with my game and background audio. Audio tracks two to four, however, for myself, is where the magic actually happens. Now, like I mentioned earlier, all of my audio gets combined under audio track two. So right here under audio track two, I have pretty much everything selected the same as my stream audio. So this is going to be a synchronized file similar to my live stream where all of my microphone and background noise is combined. Moving on, audio track three, however, has nothing selected besides my microphone. So for audio track three, nothing is going to get recorded besides my microphone volume itself. Whilst on track four, however, nothing is selected for me personally, I can add a bunch of different ones, but nothing is selected besides the game and headset audio. Now headset audio apart, I can honestly just go ahead and deselect that. Now it's going to record only the gaming audio or whatever game I have opened. It's only going to record the audio for that specifically. And it's going to be saved to audio track four. And it's really that simple, to be honest. You got your audio track set up, you got the quality set up, and now you've got what audio sources are going to be recorded on what audio track. Well, that's literally it. It's really that simple and quick. It may take you a really long time if you don't have a big brain like me to share all my knowledge that I've gained over a long and treacherous path of content creation. Now I'm playing. I love sharing information that I research deeply into. Once again, I hope this video could be useful and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, there's a playlist for it. And of course, if you want to see any of my other content, be sure to subscribe down below if you have not already. That's going to be all for the video, though. I hope you guys have a great day, evening, morning, whatever time it may be. I hope you have a great one further. 
Much love, stay safe. Until next time, it's been your boy King K. Peace.